Hello everybody. So I'm here to talk today about allergies. And you see a lot of people with allergies. You have some people who just seem to be plagued with it all the time. And then you have those who may have it here and there. And what causes the difference between those who tend to be plagued with it versus those who just tend to have it spiked here and there. Allergies themselves are a histamine response to the environment, to foods we're eating, to toxins <clears throat> that activates the immune system to decide to get rid of these histamines. Some people can have an overabundance of histamines and always have had dealt with that, which means their immune system also is going to be hyperactive. There can be toxic factors that can play into this. There can be other specific systems and organs, and I'm going to kind of discuss these different things. So most people who have chronic histamines, sometimes it's merely being exposed to something that's gotten into the bloodstream, and every time it gets back into the bloodstream, the body becomes hypervigilant and trying to get it out. The response to the intensity of it or not can often be an impact of adrenals, um, and the overall immune system. The thymus itself would be part of that white blood cells immune system. So <clears throat> there's a lot of different factors that can kind of come into play. And these are all things that you can do to support your body. Prior to like seasonal allergies, people who are constantly having irritations or exposure to something. So like for me specifically, I've had exposure to molds. And so when I walk into somewhere that has molds, my allergies go off. <laughs> uh, and that is okay, and I can deal with that, but to help my body, keeping my gut sealed, keeping my detoxifying organs flushing, but in the moment, what I need to be doing is helping my body to boost up, support my adrenals to calm down, vitamin C, different things like that, and to help my liver to flush that as well. We're taking antihistamines that are like Benadryl and different things like that. We're calming the system. We're not necessarily helping the body to get rid of histamines itself. So when you're taking something that's more of a natural, boosting the liver to dump, supporting the body to calm the immune system, calm the adrenals, you're feeding these organs to help them to work better. So first and foremost, for someone who's constantly having allergy issues, constantly being triggered, constantly having sinus factors, looking at your gut, is very important. Making sure that you do not have what we call a leaky gut, where you're having whole proteins passing into the bloodstream. That is an overactivation of the immune system. And with that, you will be more responsive to more and more things until that gut is sealed. So having good gut health, supporting the gut itself, doing what you need to rebuild and support that is important. And I think everyone is exposed to everyday chemicals, things within our environment that can aggravate it. So it's constant to support that gut lining and supporting that. One of the things that you can do food-wise would be fermented foods. That's a simple thing that you can apply multiple times a day. It's going to help with good probiotic. It's going to help with sealing the gut, different things like that. Limiting your chemical factors is also very important because those are damaging. People are on medications. You're around high amounts of toxicity, things like that. That's going to be a factor that you have to take into consideration when you're creating a plan to help your body to deal with this. There are specific foods, again, the fermented foods, things with the glutamine. It helps to seal the gut itself. Minerals are specific minerals that can help with the gut wall lining, things like that. So first and foremost, we want to make sure that's doing well. After we make sure the gut's doing well, the next thing I would look to is liver and how well the liver is decongesting. If you have fatty liver, if you've had your gallbladder taken out, the likelihood is, is you're not filtering things out of the body as well as you should. So boosting up liver and helping it to filter appropriately. <clears throat> Standard process has specific ones. There's different. If you're someone with chronic issues, the fatty liver, you're going to need a little bit more. For someone who is just experienced congestion, histamine response every now and again, there's other things that you can turn to to support opening up the liver to help the body to flush and remove histamines from the body, which will help calm the reaction. The actual reaction is calming more from immune, adrenal response, vitamin C, salts. There's a lot of different things that can help calm down the adrenals itself. So 
supporting good adrenal health and feeding the adrenal glands can be a part of that quick response or not. We want a response because we want to know we're exposed to something, but when it, after we realize we've been exposed to something and we need to get rid of it, we want to be able to move on. People with constant allergy issues, it's very smart for you to have charcoal available to you or something that will absorb those things and help remove it from the system to relieve the, the incident response to those histamines. So when we're looking at allergies, you're looking gut, you're looking liver, you're looking at your adrenals, you're looking at your overall immune state, and then sinuses. Pituitary can get very impacted, which will also impact your digestion. It will impact your hormones, your sleep weight cycles, different things like that, which can put you on edge. So sinus, perfumes, exhaust, chemicals, uh, paint fumes, any high intense fumes that you're sucking up through your sinuses will impact that microbiome. I recommend a lot of people do the Exclare to, if you're someone who's always constantly exposed to that, even when I get out and I get grass allergies even, so when I mow the lawn, it kicks things up, which I did this morning. Um, so doing the Exclare before doing something like that is helping that microbiome be healthy and to resist and push out the histamines that you may be sucking in through your sinuses. Throat and nasal health oftentimes are both impacted by that. Doing something like the throat coat can help. Horseradish is a good food to go and to do. Um, anyway, there are much easier ways through supplements, but those of you who are part of my membership, you will have the protocol log video. You can go to that and I will tell you the actual protocols to do for these different things. So if you guys want to be a part of that, you can go ahead and sign up. It gives you discounts and protocols that you can access discounts on supplements and appointments and different things like that. Um, so when it comes to allergies, again, the biome in the sinuses, the gut, your liver, your adrenal and slash immune response are all things you want to be able to feed and support. And I explain that in the blog and I'm explaining that again. So these are the key areas that we have to look to. And there are easy ways you can go in and nourish and support those. When I have people come in, I walk you through this process. Sometimes we have a overactivation of the histamines and we end up with mast cell issues, mast cells always on high alert, always overreacting. You need to help feed and calm that mast cell in order to calm the body itself so we're not so quickly. This is a process of doing this, but you can get to a better place without having to always take medications, always drugging yourself, always feeling miserable because you're drowsy and you just can't function properly. So if you guys want help with this, let me know. I hope this blog and the video here are helpful of areas to look at and ways to support the body or the areas we need to support to help with allergy season. Hope you guys all have a great day.